Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another episode of our Bone, Blood, and Blade Legend of the Five Rings Chronicle. I am the Ravnos Archon. My name is Will, and I'll be your storyteller this evening. Last we left off with our group, we opened up in the morning as everyone was trying to come to terms with the situation that had happened uh, previously and getting their morning duties out of the way and trying not to wake up uh, Tamori Mori, even though a girl in his best meaning self uh, still managed to do that anyway. Um, Doji tried to remember a Crab Clan uh, matchmaker's name uh, after seeing the situation play out before him as now uh, it looks like he's putting all of his stones in that basket. Um, couldn't figure out, uh, couldn't remember the name whatsoever, uh, but the Soshi picked up on what was going on and tried to figure out if a girl was betrothed at all uh, or if he was promised to anyone uh, or if there was even a wedding in the future. Uh, uh, which he awkwardly tried to eject himself from the conversation, um, and the guru ran off to do some more chores. Uh, upon returning to the city, though, they s noticed there's a few more fortifications uh, that have been raised around the encampments. Each of the actual clan uh, campgrounds had a tower that had been erected. Uh, scouts were prominently uh, patrolling the areas. And they had been approached by a group of members from uh, different clans and some of the Ashigaru uh, magistrates and were checked, uh, had their necks checked to make sure they were who they were, uh, and immediately were brought to um, <clears throat> speak with the village daimyo. Uh, upon entering the court uh, room, they noticed that the daimyo has been a little bit sloppy as of late in his drinks. Uh, they saw that the head of the Ashigaru was there, the Sepun bodyguard was there, and that there was a shadow, uh, an outline of somebody behind a rice paper door just outside the rear of the courtroom, which could be easily posited as a historian or uh, a minute taker. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, but they debriefed the daimyo on the events of what happened, uh, and then there was a not so subtle abuse of power um, shown to the group um, and each one of them in turn um, got a chance to leave with a final uh, retort. Um, some were uh, more controlled than others, uh, but we left off with them receiving an invitation with uh, not just the Imperial Seal, but also a clan, a lion clan mon. Um, and it was a note from a Kitsune Koji to meet with them at the Bayushi Tea House on the edge of town. And this is where we're going to uh, meet our crew for tonight. Unfortunately, we are down one crane, uh, but we are up one lion. So I'm excited to see what comes of this uh, drop in, drop out situation. So we're going to open up uh, with Kitsune Koji at the Bayushi Tea House. You are <clears throat> sitting across from what would be just a, a... How would you, before we get a description for, for Koji, paint me a picture of who Togashi... Um, Medio is. Togashi Medio. Mm -hmm. He is tall, slim. Um, he's got the beard, mustache, kind of patchy, unkept hair in, in in the bun. Uh. He, he's all covered in tattoos. Uh, where's a uh, pretty much he's dressed in a green 
that uh, green and gold uh, gi, okay. pretty much. <clears throat> Is it and easy to, to determine that he's uh, a dragon? Pretty much. Dragon, and if you know your dragons, probably a, you can tell he's a tattooed monk. Who's, okay. who's, who's on the road, which explains his unkept hair instead of being shaved, bald, mm. and everything. Okay. And now, as, um, as one of the serving girls comes over with the tea for both of you and a couple of rice cakes, what does Kitsune Koji look like? Because I assume that you're uh, completely different. Like, Mirio oh, yeah. has to be near dirty, uh, yeah. unkempt, kind of uh, doesn't care about how clean his clothes look. Oh, yeah, completely the opposite. He's tall, slender, unkept, and kind of raggedy. I'm burly, burly, burly man. <laughs> um, Clean, so strong, cut. clean hair. Also, one in a bun, um, and just very clean. Smells, smells like jasmine. Pretty much, um, and the the colors of the lion the orange uh, no wait they're not orange that's phoenix right phoenix uh, is more orange yeah yeah lions are gold and brown brown yeah brown ghee just making sure everything is clean i got my uh my samasan instrument there by my side always <laughs> and i got some beads around my neck Okay. Mm -hmm. And if I were to remove my top gi, you would, I would also be tatted up as well. Mm. You're a rebel, Dottie. Yeah. Clean, clean rebel, though. Clean. Mm -hmm. Keyword the, clean. the young girl um, puts the tea in front of the two of you, and then uh, while she's holding her tray, she looks down sheepishly um are both of you here with with the students for the for the topaz championship although she's asking the two of you she's very much more uh angled towards you <clears throat> am i waiting for the topaz that, that's who the that's what i'm waiting for right the topaz champion no, the the Topaz Championship hasn't even started. It starts tomorrow. Oh, oh okay. I'm not waiting for it. Okay. Just you know, sure. you know why you're here. Oh yeah, I know why I'm here. I'm here to try this good tea that I've heard so much about. Mm hmm. Oh no, I. We are not actually. I am here. Recreationally, actually, to try the. Finest tea that I've heard so much about in my in my travels. Oh, yes, yes. We, I we... heard this is place. Uh, the magic happens. You, you honor us, samurai. Uh, we we did not think that our our tea had spread beyond Shinoman. Oh no, your tea it's it has spread legacy. Like I. Depending on today's outcome, there will be a song made in your honor in this place. Uh, Muriel takes the entire saucer of tea into his mouth. Uh, and Muriel, Muriel, please don't. Swallows it and just looks at you. No, oh, no. Tea is tea. No, no, no. Tea is. How... There's so many years you have known me. Tea is not just tea. It is it's art. It is beauty. It is hot man, water. Why, why do I even waste my? No, it's not hot water. It's not hot water either, Muriel. He uh, he shakes the little 
little ceramic bottle of tea that she brought you and she he goes um do you have alcohol is there is there some wine or some uh shoju and she she turns her head slightly in his direction he's like of course yes uh, is this what you would prefer and again he's asking the table but she's turned towards koji yes uh my friend delights himself that will be fine of course now, obviously, obviously you can tell we're really good friends for the fact that i did not call him Gashi, but by muriel <clears throat> and she she rushes off um a little bit of a hop to her step um, as this is playing out where do we find Soshi. Well, if my obligations had been met, I had planned to arrange for a shipment of sake to be delivered to the uh, noble we just met because the travel is going to be uh, long for him. And I want him to make sure that he has his most required travel uh, tools. And alcohol seems to be the thing he loves most. So I'm going to make sure he's well prepared for. And it will also be a cunning insult because he deserves it. And then I guess... What are we supposed to be doing now? Because without the guidance of the doji, I am lost. Well, you do have the <laughs> the missive that you came back to your yes. tent, uh, telling you that you know uh, between such and such time, at your earliest convenience, uh, to go to the Bayushi Tea House. Uh, That's right. You, That's right. As you are yeah. making this. Uh, acquisition report uh to your own bayushi uh Giamaru. he looks up um at you and although the top of his face is unmoving you know that behind his mempo there are teeth grinding and he looks you up and down for a moment Soshi-san, I did not believe that you were a drinker. All of this sake. Oh, I'm, I'm not. Uh, this is for a friend. Well, is this for... Your crab friend? No. Oh. I give him a very brief, dry description of what happened in the, uh, the tent. Because there are no secrets amongst the scorpion. We are all very open. Yep. And we are all very friendly with each other. With each other. <laughs> uh, you... As you... Tell your story. As a matter of fact, I omit, it's I omit certain. I I omit certain facts, like mm -hmm. pedal and the arm and my latent shadow taint that seems to be growing. Those those stay out of the the story, but sure. The, I, the I, I imagine that when you said yeah. when you said you were doing a dry. Uh, yes, it was yeah. just what happened in the courtroom. Uh, but as you. Deliver each detail, as a matter of factly, his eyes widen with every bullet point that you hit. Uh, and then his hands come up. <clears throat> Fascinating. Are you sure that one case is enough, then? Oh, I didn't want to presume upon the clan stores, I was going to say 10 would be a far more uh, generous and likely 
understood message. Let's let's settle for five and see what happens. I think five would be a wonderful compromise. It's a generous gift, Toshi-san. Indeed. I am renowned for my generosity, as is my family. Our clan benefits from everything that you put forward. That is what we are all here to do. Service to the Empire, service to the clan. Of all else. I've even been making friends. I trust you. <laughs> you have a good oh. set of eyes about you. You're the only set that I have. Well, <laughs> here anyway. I have several other sets, other oh. places. Anyways. Is um, there anything else? The meeting that I'm going to be attending shortly, I just want it known to members of the clan that I'm going there in case something happens. I Good. want to make sure that as I am in engaging in these uh, endeavors that the clan as a whole is aware of in case something were to happen to me. Would you like me to I'm... personally ask Bayushi Saruman to keep an eye on you while you are in his establishment? No, I don't want to presume. He may consider that to be somewhat of a favor, and I do not wish to put anyone in debt on account of me. I understand. I have composed a letter, though, to my betrothed um with an update on various events if you could see that delivered i would be most grateful my life it will reach her hands thank you i bowed deeply and i pr produced the letter that i wrote uh last night to my fiance uh very much like traditional japanese businessmen who are treasure being handed a business card, he takes it in both hands like it is a treasure. It is it is written in it is written as a standard love poem. Um but all of the locations mentioned in it are tied to where we've been. And some of the words that are used she knows means things like danger you know basically this this very poetic very sweet very loving way of giving an update on where we are um look at you you big softy i am very much in love i am happily engaged i have a merit touche <laughs> touche i'm married for love you win this round i do so you're going to make your way downtown, walking fast? Yep, fast. and I will, you know what, I'm going to get my, because Friendship Day doesn't have to be one day. Let's go ahead and let's find the Doji and Tamori. Usually they're together. I will go find Tamori Mori and, uh, and we will, we will all go. Was this just me that was asked to go to this or was this everybody? You don't know. The message, the I, message was addressed to just you. I'm going to, I'm going to bring Tamori anyway, because I felt like yesterday there was a moment where, uh, they were, I perhaps overstepped things and I want to make it up to them. And the best way I think I can do that is with alcohol. So, okay. That's. We're gonna we're gonna gamble on booze and tea is a good way of, you know, making friendship better. <laughs> I mean, you've seen it work for a guru. Yeah, uh, exactly. So as you're as you're in the meeting with your Bayushi, we will cut across the encampments to the dragon. Where do we find Tamori Mori while all of this is happening? The moment that they left the conversation with Soshi. They needed alone time, so it was straight back to their tent. 
okay. by themselves. Yeah. And they are currently, and it works tonight since he's not available, uh, avoiding Doji. Yeah. Works real well today. Ooh, so good. Sometimes things happen for a reason. Yeah, buddy. Uh, yeah, you get back to your tent and you see the missive sitting on your bed. Uh, it has the Imperial Mon, uh, which you recognize as uh, for its importance, but it also has the Lion Clan Mon on it. Uh, the message is addressed to you personally, mm-hmm. and it says between this time and this time, um, a Kitsune Koji will be expecting you in the Bayushi Tea House at the edge of town. Discuss matters pertaining to, uh, but not solely revolving around Kurokumo Shinai and Shiromori Sato. And this is like, I immediately get there and I open that and I don't want to go and deal with more fucking people at the moment. Um, so they kind of just hold the letter. And contemplate whether to take the long route to go there Mm -hmm. or whether to like pick a fight on the way. (laughs) Because they're not vibing with social interaction at the moment. So they're probably in their tent just like pacing, which is so comfy. So, Sushi, if you're looking for me, I'm having a great time. Good times all around. Um, there is a moment where one of the servants stands uh, and clears his throat outside of your tent. Um, Mori son, an issue if I may take some time. They kind of grunt as they open the, the tent. Uh, and the the young dragon samurai stands at attention the moment the tent flap moves uh he bows uh there is a scorpion at our order uh at our at our extremity uh, and also this has arrived for you and he hands you another missive this one is from Minamoto Kohoji. It's a name that you have not heard since your Genpuku ceremony. Is this the person that's hanging out with at the tea house too? It is not. It is not. Okay. So. Oof. Do I open it now or do I just put it in my pocket and leave it for another time? Do I suppress or open? <laughs> um, Mori kind of doesn't mean to, but snatches it out of the the young kid's hand. Yeah. And he, he is startled. And Mori immediately. Sorry. No, please. I should have I should have held it out further. No, you're mistake. fine. You've done nothing wrong. Um, all right, let's read it. Fuck it. It is a wedding invitation. Okay. For who? For you. Uh, for you me? Are, you are cordially invited to Mirumoto Kohoji's wedding. Back in the Dragonlands. Oh, I'm sorry. I misread. I thought you said it's a wedding invitation for me to get married. And I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? No, no, no. I was I, about to lose it. <laughs> I know. I know what mental state you're in. I do not want to, I do not want to poke that bear <laughs> just yet. Um, okay. Cool. 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 Um, well, that's nice. Yeah. <laughs> My Google home just responded to me. Creepy. Um, that is really creepy. Um, Hey Siri, stop listening. <laughs> There's no way Tamori's gonna go to this wedding. Like, especially not, not, not because uh, I think 
it is it, the primary reason that you wouldn't want to go to this wedding is because it's being held in your family estate. Mm-hmm. I mean, this is someone from my past, which means that they're inviting all of my family, including me. Correct. Because if I got the fucking invitation, the rest of them got the fucking invitation, <laughs> which means I ain't going. So I make note to see like where the letter comes from so that I can send it, send something back. Just like a, just like a, sorry, I'm busy. Like a smiley face. Um, yeah. <laughs> RSVP. No. RSVP. Can't this time. Maybe next time. Love you. Mean it. Um, <laughs> and they um, kind of hold on to it. They hold on to both of the little, the letters yep. and dismiss the, the young samurai. He immediately bows and runs off. Don't fight the little kid. Um, yeah. There's there's an air of like a feeling that he sur- he just survived a uh, an encounter with a dragon. Like not not like you not as wrong. a dragon, but like a, like a mythological dragon. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> Tamari knows he's <throat> waiting outside, so. They pull themselves together and suppress to move forward and go right towards Soshi, wherever they said that he was hanging out at. Okay. They, you see that there is a small contingent of dragon samurai uh, just kind of standing guard. There's one in particular that just is standing there like he is bored out of his mind. Um, and standing next to him is Soshi Tetsuro. So the one bored out of his mind, does he look like he's sleepy? Not sleepy, just definitely looks like he would rather be somewhere else than standing next to a scorpion. I immediately, like, if he's dazed and confused, right next to his ear, clap as loud as fucking possible. <laughs> he snaps to attention. Mm-hmm. Soshi. And bows. Ma'am. <laughs> I also a bow. Did you receive a letter? I did. I assumed that it wouldn't be sent to just myself, so I figured I would check and see if you and the Doji had uh, received one. I'm guessing that you did. I did. Excellent. Well. Would you like to go with me? I can, yes. And Doji can go on his own. I think that would be wonderful. Perfect. And we're meeting uh, Koji, or Kitsune. Kitsune Koji. We are meeting, yes. Do you know why we're doing this by any chance? Why this has been sent? Any inkling? Not necessarily. Uh, hmm. And I wish we weren't going right this moment, but I'd rather just get it over with. I mean, if there's something you need to attend to, I can leave you to it. I I don't think that I can at the moment. Oh, very well. I offer a bow and... Mm-hmm. My one arm kind of does a bow and (laughs) gestures that we should be on our way. Um, There's a very tense silence as we're walking. And a tense body language in general. Okay. Uh, Moray. Yeah. Speak. Given name. Hmm? Speak. There's things that you obviously want to say, and I can tell by your body language that you're moments from an outburst of violence. So if it is going to be a moment where we need to make a positive social impression, this is not the body language to convey. So as friends, and I hope that I can call you my friend, I think that this is a good time for us to talk, so that way you can get it out of your system, hopefully, and we can set a better first impression when we meet the other person. 
Failing that, this will give you a chance to vent. You can yell at me if you want. You wouldn't be the first person. We can tussle. I would prefer without weapons, but... We will not tussle. Excellent, because I knew I wouldn't win. <laughs> and there's a very small smirk at that comment. <laughs> so she, you're, you're to be married, right? Yes, I am. And it's your choice to be married? It is. And Luckily, uh, it coincided with what my father and her mother wanted, but yes, I'm very happy with my betrothal. And she's happy with you? I hope so. Be awkward if she wasn't. The point is that you both want it. Yes. Doji oversteps. And sometimes he forgets that he's not actually my father. I don't want to be married. Regardless of who I love or who I like or who I find attraction to, it's not for me. There are a lot of things that are not for me. And he forgets that. And he forgets to ask, and that's what makes me upset. And I'm sorry that my aggression spread to you because it wasn't your intention to do any harm. But I can't seem to let go of some of this anger. I will say two things. Mm. First, while many, especially in my clan, feel that a properly arranged marriage is a service that one must do for the empire for it to grow stronger and produce fine heirs. I feel that there are, there are other ways to serve the empire. And if you choose to serve in ways other than marriage, think that you are still more than able to contribute just as well if not better than anyone else you're courageous not always the most forethought courage but you're courageous you're strong and those are assets that should be enough and now that i know your stance on things you will never have to worry about me mentioning it again. And I thank, thank you, you for trusting me. It's not Sharing... like I had a choice. I was very upset. Well, I still am. justifiably so, given what I know now. But you're telling me that you do not believe in one of the conventions of imperial decorum as a samurai some might use as a trap or weapon against you. I would never do that. What You're you right. did was take take a risk, and I appreciate that you took that risk in trusting me. The second thing hmm. is if you're frustrated, I would say the uh, T, great option, Meditation, although I don't have the mind for it myself, I'm not very good at it, despite the fact that the, it is the easiest way to communicate with the kami. I could recommend coitus. That seems to work quite well for many people, although I don't know who one would engage An idea. here. Yes, i not offering myself. I am happy. I wasn't <laughs> offering either. Good. good. I'm so Glad sorry. We... And like, there's a very wow. big hand on your back. You are. Sure. Don't have to worry about that with me. Is it? Is it because of I'm a scorpion, or is it the arm? I, um, I'm plenty handsome. I'm handsome under the mask. I assure you. I believe you. Um, okay. I you prefer could, you could tell people of different that, clans. I'm so sorry. It's okay. It's okay. I. I would like to think that were I not a scorpion, I would be a fine mate for many. 
Sure. <laughs> yeah, let's go with that one. Yeah. And he takes his mask off for a second. And that featureless porcelain is gone. And you can see he is actually a handsome uh, man, but his eyes underneath are just deep, dark sockets. He does not sleep, it looks like, ever. He looks tired and ragged. Features are very delicate. But there is an honest smile on his face Mm -hmm. that seems to change everything. You are very good-looking, Scorpion. And you are a very robust dragon. Now, let us never tell Doji we had this conversation, (laughs) shall we? Absolutely not. I love it. (laughs) He puts the mask back on. and One firm pat, and then we continue. Yeah. (laughs) Okay. Uh, You come up, and as has been the case, you see how lively the the Bayushi Tea House is, especially now that there's members from all the clans and their entourages are here. Um, it, it it looks like something that definitely feels like home for Soshi, given growing up uh, in Scorpion territory. Like, this is how a tea house is supposed to feel. Sound, smell, there's laughter, there's conversations, um, you can see serving girls and boys kind of dancing around tables, taking orders, handing treats. Um, there's a very lively interaction here. Um, and even for being the, the person in charge and the head of the house, uh, Bayushi Saruman is himself like dancing around tables he is talking to people he is engaged in what looks to be like seven conversations at the same time all the while uh his eyes are lit up like this is the happiest he's been even when he sees the two of you approach he glides past some people he he, interjects himself into conversations, excuses himself at the same breath, uh, and comes over and bows to the two of you. Uh, My my dragon friend, my scorpion associate, how can I be of service to the two of you? We We have have letters. Yes. Mm -hmm. (laughs) I just raised the letter that I was given. And you see him hold out his hands May I? You may. Honor. And he bows low as he takes it from you, unfurls it in front of you, reads it. What does his mask look like? His is uh, a silk drape. It's mostly uh, this. It kind of comes up to his widow's peak and comes down around his eyes and back up around his ears um it looks like several layers of silk have been woven to create this 3d image of two scorpions creeping up towards his mouth their pincer one pincer is like up above the lips and one one set of pincers is below it it's almost like uh they're about to engage in a dance but the the, the tails kind of Trapes up and become one with the embroidery that holds itself around his ears. Very elaborate. Yeah. It, I have the most boring mask in the entire clan. <laughs> <laughs> You're a Shugenja. Nobody, nobody cares about your mask. They care about what you, you do with the I elements. Just, I don't know if anyone's ever played Fable. His mask is the same mask that the Jack of uh, Blades has. Uh, I, oh, interesting. That... that that is Soshi's Soshi's mask. Okay. That kind of no mouth, no nose, featureless thing. Yeah. <clears throat> Anyways, 
Yeah, there, there's a rumor that the more simple your mask is, the more dangerous you are. So it's, that's just how I attribute it. Accurate. I am super dangerous. Super dangerous. You're like, I'm ultra you're like dangerous. A, a burnt marshmallow of danger. I am toasty. Might burn you if you bite inside. Yeah. Carcinogenic, yeah. <laughs> oh. Uh, but he looks at it, he reads it, and he rolls it back up and again bows as he offers it back to you. Soshi san, you are in luck. I happen to know uh, where the Kitsune and his associate are sitting. Uh, do you I allow me to lead you there? Nothing less. Of course. I would be honored. Shall I have some tea prepared for the two of you? I think from the personal it. stock, perhaps. Do you have a preferred tea, Tsumori Mori? No. <laughs> uh, something citrus, floral, with a hint of bitterness for me. Very well. And he leads you to a table where you see the two gentlemen that were described earlier by uh, our lion friend. And <clears throat> there's a moment where for Soshi, there's nothing out of the ordinary. It's uh, a raggedy looking bum of a dragon compared to what you've been dealing with as far as Tamori Mori is concerned. But this very very sharply clean, almost doji level of attention to detail of a lion. Uh, for Tamori Mori, it is the exact opposite. There is this um, kind of uh, revulsion at the fact that there is a, somebody else that is going to rival doji for the role of cleanest uh, motherfucker in the group. And then there's that moment where you are stationary, but your background kind of slides away from you as you lock eyes with this tattooed, rough-looking gentleman who immediately stands up with a slam of a fist on the table uh, and shoots towards you. Um, this is one of your cousins from your father's side. It is. He immediately tell... tries to grab you in a bear hug and lift you up. There is not a single fucking part. It ha it's an instinct reaction to step back as quickly as possible with a, like, a, a flat hand out. And it wasn't meant to be like so dramatic. But it was the first thing they felt when they felt like everything honing in and they just like fucking push back. I don't know if they made contact. That's just what they did. Let's find out. Let's have you make a let's have you make a jujitsu roll. Jujitsu roll. I want to point out that he's also barefoot. Love yeah. That. Of course he is. He's a monk. Yeah. Yeah. He's a hippie who should get a job. And get a job. What is your TN to be hit? <laughs> Wenny. Yeah, because you I rolled a you 49. Have... Okay. Oh, okay. Hold up. What who are you? Huh? Uh, are you wearing your armor? Are you still in your armor? I believe so. Okay. Yeah. Maybe 26 to try to grab you. Uh no. yeah, I rolled garbage compared to your 49. No. Perfect. Bro. Don't fucking touch me. No, bro. The best I got is 23. <clears throat> so I didn't even get your TN to be hit. Um, yeah, you see him come running towards you, arms wide. Um, looking, it's not aggressive. Uh, it is definitely very jovial. His, he is smiling from ear to ear. Uh, and there's this guttural Mori that comes out of his mouth. And then instinctively, your your hand just shoots out like uh, like a piston, and there's a thump. The crowd silences in the room, and in slow motion, almost you see him just kind of stop his full momentum. His arms shoot outward like um, 
like ragdoll. His feet come up from under him, and he falls onto his back. Um, I would like to attempt to catch him um, mm. and make it look like uh, he was just stumbling a little bit, and I kind of use like a I grab like the back of his. He's is he wearing a gi? Or yes. is he shirtless? Okay. No. So basically, I do a full-on jujitsu gi collar and kind of redirect him so he's standing, so it doesn't look as um, dramatic as as all that. Yeah, make it. Make um, your own jujitsu roll. This what you do is where I am vaguely like a Viking. It is my only weapon skill. But there is a... a... Okay. Mm -hmm. 23 is enough um, to protect, uh, to save some of his face. Um, but yeah, you, you see the, the normally lumbering kind of lovable oath that Mori is suddenly just shoot back, hand extends. It is impressively uh, a fantastic technique to just stop forward movement. Um, and immediately, the moment it impacts, you see his face, it just turns to complete and utter shock. Uh, and as he goes back, you come up Bring your hand around and just redirect the flow of energy yeah. around. I think what happened from kind of um, Petro's perspective is that when that hand shot forward, his training, that's an aggressive hand action because, you know, on arm fighting is the only thing he knows. Mm -hmm. uh, and his his hand was immediately making the movement to intervene seeing a fight about to happen, kind of caught what was actually happening, redirected it, and then he almost stops before he says anything because he realized he was just reacting in a protective manner to somebody, um, which is new for him. He doesn't normally feel protective of people. He doesn't know if he likes it. This is this feelings thing and this friendship thing is kind of, I don't know. I don't know if I like it. Um, no. But... Look at you. Girl. Once he redirects them, he loudly kind of kind of stage talk loud enough to be overheard. Um you might want to be more careful. You never know when someone might be laying about, you could trip. Perhaps a seat would be in better order. And he kind of redirects the momentum so the guy kind of sits in a chair. Before and he for... completely faces away. Um, could you remind me his name, please? Togashi Mirio. Mirio. Like, there is, once the initial shock of seeing him and, like, having to react to him coming at me, um, they, they bow as so she's grabbing him. And after, so she says, you know, his, <laughs> be careful, you step. Mori bows and says, I am sorry. It's good to see you. And then kind of just doesn't get physically near him at all. So one quick note for uh, Ike, who's new here. Mm -hmm. um, as far as the physical description for uh, Tetsuro, he, he has one arm. Um, that move he did was using his only arm left his his only arm his left arm um impressive he's got one of those wide brimmed you know wizard hats that they had in rokugan uh that ben loves his raiden hat uh and he's got the porcelain mask his uh kimono is very simple but it's layered um, there's about three different layers kind of building on top of each other. Uh, all in blacks and blacks, purples, and golds. 
what does Tamori look like after everything that's happened? And you happened? can also see yeah. when his sleeve came up from that that you also see tattoos all up and down the the twisting around his arm. How has Tamori changed uh, from the first season to this season? Tamori's older, um, but they're still fairly young. Like they're still twenties ish. Like actually, I think they're just twenty. Um, they're still huge, so they're still six foot whatever, six foot a million, and millimeters. They've grown into their body a little bit more, not as like lanky and lean, more like filled out because they've been doing lots of exercise and fighting spiders a lot. Um, but they still have same same black hair, same kind of ambiguous bob. Very much non-binary samurai. No gender roles. Yep. <clears throat> but uh, immediately, uh, Mirio gets up um, again, and he holds onto his chest where he crashed into your um, uh, steel beam of a f of an arm, um, and then. With a smile, he turns towards Kitsune Koji. Koji! It's my cousin! Hello, I told you back. about her. I get up from the table. The I moment that, apologize, uh, I don't know a... I don't know a her. Mm-hmm. I believe you're mistaken, sir. Looks at you for a moment. What do you mean? He's standing right there, and he points at more and more. I don't see a her. I see Tamori Mori, but Tamori Mori's not. Uh, there never been, to, in my experience, a, a her. There's a little bit of a sigh of relief that it's not just going to be a battle only for Tamori to fight. Um, and there was definitely a, a hit the moment it was like, I knew he was going to see me as a, a female, but there was a, a hit and a twinge of hurt mm -hmm. when they realize it. Yep. Meanwhile, to, to Tetsuro, he's never known to Mori Mori to be anything other than they. they. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I was introduced, so he doesn't... Um, and even then, I, I don't... Yeah. Um, perhaps we should all sit and have some tea. Please, please, yes, come. Let's all sit down, have some tea. Excuse my, my good associate friend over here. Please, please. You must be Now, clear. why are we here? Mm. <laughs> uh, let's sit down first and we'll have some tea. We can talk all about that and introduce ourselves and start all um, over. You know who I am. Otherwise, I would not have received the letter. And obviously, you know, my friend here. Uh, at least I'm two, assuming. Not one. There's, you're, there's one missing. He's otherwise engaged. It takes him a very long time to wash his hair. Oh. Understandable. Please. A very long time. Mm -hmm. Ah, he fantastic. will be washing his hair for two more days. It is that a is, process. That is quite a long time. Many oils. I... Seven I combs. Ask... Two servants. I, I must ask. <laughs> I look at both of them. I guess I can tell right away. They're referring to and who's missing from this mm -hmm. group that I've yep. invited. 
Hundred percent. I I would definitely have to ask Doji about the oils he uses. The hair may not be as long, but I do like a good wash. Is this why you use. summoned us? Oh no, I've actually summoned you for other reasons. But please, again, let's sit down, enjoy ourselves. There's no. There's no way that Tamori's just going to sit here and have fucking pleasantries. Um, mm-hmm. So I don't, I'm going to roll my fucking etiquette or something to what figure out to, a nice to way. My, the, what I'm trying to do is tell who I just met, the Kitsune, that I'm going to fucking leave uh, mm. <laughs> if we don't get to the point. Yeah, in a I nice was actually going to. I wasn't going to bother rolling it, but I was going to do a check on Insight to see if this is a a setup. (laughs) As far as what? (laughs) Um, Just because there there has to be... There's a reason we were summoned, and I like to look for traps in the event that this is a... The intent is, is... a a threat or plot um but i'll i'll wave the pc flag and uh not uh not do that (laughs) i think you should i think you fucking should uh uh, there is a moment where his insistence on you sitting down does kind of set off some alarms in your head Uh, but you're also in the, a scorpion tea house, mm-hmm. the the flagrancy that he would have to have created some trap for you in this place um, would speak more about you and your clan than than him and his skill. Um, but yeah, you see, Mirio, uh, without even asking, just grab chairs from different tables and bring them over to your table. He sits down next to uh next to Koji and then he immediately pats the seat uh next to him while he's looking up at Mori. I sit there. <laughs> Nonverbal communication. Beautiful. So am I sitting across from all three of you? Like how's this working? No, it, it's an X. Oh, okay, got it. Yeah. Well then I take the only seat left in the X. Yeah, you're, you're now sitting in the scorpion seat, which was going to be the one furthest from everybody else. Um, <laughs> I, I'm eating. I'm, I'm sitting at the seat that he was going to try to make you sit in. <laughs> I love it. I hope you guys bond. I can't wait. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It is an honor to have you both finally sitting, finally have you here both. It saddens me that what OG bef- was unable before we, to make it. Before we get too far into it, um, I would like to roll etiquette, mm. and what do I know about this person? Have I heard anything about <clears> them? <throat> well, that would be... Um, That's not... Yeah, whatever um, that would be. Yeah, that would be as, lore. Uh, as lore, you roll anything. etiquette, I'm going to also roll intimidation because I'm fucking done. <laughs> Who are We're you trying both, to intimidate? Both of them. Fuck it. Uh, it's a 20. Okay. Uh, well, do you have, uh, me? No, uh, Soshi, do you, do you have heraldry? I wouldn't, no, I have theology. Okay, no. Uh, yes, yeah, I have court, untrained. courtier would be, yeah, courtier would be the only other option I have for a skill for this. No, it would be, guys. it would have to be a, a lore heraldry role, so, uh, yeah, just, you can roll a, a base intelligence to see if you heard of Kitsune Koji? That's a 17. Okay. I'm smart. Yeah. Uh, Tomoe rolled the 16 to try and intimidate. Um, what are you... How are you trying to intimidate two of them? I'm just... I'm in a bad fucking mood, and I want them to know it. <laughs> like, I... I I do not want to have the pleasantry conversation that mm-hmm. Kitsune ha- wants to have of like, let's have tea and, and talk about our lives. And my cousin obviously wants to fucking talk to me. Yep. So 
I'm trying to make it like very obvious that uh, I'm not nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa. Like, let's have you make a forty-year roll. Does this work? Uh, do I roll dice or do I actually roll? On no, no. You roll. You roll on roll twenty. Oh, okay. Uh, oh. How is that again? It's you're gonna you're gonna time. open your character sheet. Uh, yeah. You're gonna go to your skill section, and after oh. emphases, you'll see that there's three buttons with a d20 on them. Uh, mm -hmm. The first one is for untrained, so that's if you don't have any points in it, like you don't in courtier. Okay. That's okay. the one that you want to hit. The second one would be right. trained, and the third is the if you have an emphasis in it. All right, cool. Here we go. Yep. And, and where do I see the roll? It'll show up in your in the in the chat. Uh, you rolled a seven. <laughs> no. Uh, oh, so, I'm scary as fuck, boy. Yeah, seven. Yeah. So you and uh, Mirio both like him less than you, uh, because he's a dragon and he's he's probably used to how moody, uh moody uh, Mori is uh, but for you this is the first time one that you've seen someone this size and two someone this size leaning into you like they want to break your fists against their own body I back away I'm like I mean no disrespect or Maybe we have gotten off on the wrong foot here. I apologize. I am so sorry. I do not want to upset you. That is not our intentions. I just want to get to know you. FT. We've had a very active last few days, and we are not at our... I, I apologize for speaking on your behalf, uh, Tamori Mori, but... Uh, I feel that if this is going to be a purely social function, we may wish to postpone. But if you have business uh, that you wish to have addressed, uh, which hopefully you do because you summoned us, you would be able to tell us what that is quickly. Sure. Uh, no. Again, I, there I, is no I, there is no disrespect intended. And I and I apologize if this is not what you were hoping for, but it has been a very trying last few days and a very trying last few minutes. Sure, I understand. I my intentions. I really wanted to invite you over to the bathhouse. I feel a nice bath would have been better. If you really want to talk and get down to business, because this unfortunately is a business summons i'd rather it be a social summon since i've also been traveling on this strenuous journey and i've been tasked with a certain request which involves the three of you but it's only two of you that has shown up so now i'm stuck here i keep leaning more and more away from tomori as this yeah. goes <laughs> yeah dealing with this and this is not really my scene you say that, too that many it involves here. the three of us. What involves the three of us? I did not know you before today, and yet somehow you know us. I Muriel, know. by the way, has checked out. Like, if if you needed an anime equivalent, his little snot bubble is just... Ooh. Yeah, he's kind of already off my radar for purposes of of acknowledgement for this. Um, um, yes, I, look, like I said, I don't want to be here. I do, because I've heard wonderful things about this tea house, and I love the tea here. It's just magnificent. I was looking actually forward to meeting you after I've heard so much about you. I really didn't know anything about you until... I was given this task. What task? I am here to investigate the three of you regarding an incident that occurred. Excuse me. Let me check my notes. Uh, the letter here. Yada yada. yada. Um, hold on. Here it is. 
uh, we have been tasked by the the Emerald Magistrate to investigate. Actually, the only person that's not here, actually, uh, Doji and his associates. Um, I've been aware of your incidents involving the shapeshifters and everything. Yes. So, fill in the blanks. I'll be more than happy to leave you all alone. Like I said, I would have. I wish this would have gone so much better. I would have preferred tea, music, food, festivities, everything. Do you tend to find the dancing and? Uh, music make for a better inquisition? Honestly, yes. <laughs> There's a philosophy of my father's and my father <sighs> father was uh, frowned upon because of these beliefs per se. But I believe it's the proper way, full disclosure, and everything. Just no, honesty is the best policy. And to be honest, I would have preferred the bathhouse because in a bathhouse, it's nothing but pure, honest talk when individuals are completely naked with nothing but the naked truth. We are absolutely not discussing anything in a bathhouse. And I lean more closer, closer to, to Tagashi. He feels you up, tomorrow. like he feels you rub up against him for a moment. He just comes in, like we couldn't, we couldn't do this in the bathhouse anyways. They wouldn't allow her to sit with us. Uh, my face goes right to Kitsune. So you won't discuss business with us and do your investigation until all three of us are together, correct? Oh, um, you. It's fine. We can do it here. I don't want to trouble you. You seem very, very upset, and I'm sorry. Again, is there anything I can do? I am not upset. Or... What do you need to know from me? I just said anything that will help with this investigation about the shapeshifters that you were involved with. That's all. Don't we have all encountered numerous murders. We have investigated them. We have tracked the shapeshifters to their... Ben, bear in mind, since we play once every, you know, two months... Uh, although we had a good run last time, um, Ben might be fuzzy on details, so feel free to correct him. Um, but we, we have tracked them to their lair. We sealed in and dispatched a number of them. The matter is on its way to being resolved or has been resolved already. We are merely pursuing a few last threads. If you wish verification on our status and the evidence that we have uncovered, I recommend that you ask the heads of the clans uh, within this festival that is going on. None of our activities have been particularly circumspect, and we have all been reporting quite regularly to the uh, our daimyo uh, as required. Anything else? That seems to check out. I don't know why they would have asked me to investigate you, the three of you, then, if that was the case, if they can go to the, the head of the clans. Muriel slams his hand on the table. He's like, ah, I figured it out. Is it your time to bleed? Is this why you're angry? I, before, M Mori, before Mori can say anything, Tetsuro rises. You Gosh. are a Shigenja, yes? And he's speaking to Mori's cousin. No. That's unfortunate. I say, sir, that you are rude. I say that you are rude, you are a bore, and your presence in this festive tea house is darkening my enjoyment. Apologies for my friend, Tagashi. He's... 
you don't mind, explore the festivities. I say that you are a poor example of your clan. And he's speaking loudly enough where other people in the tea house can definitely hear what's going on. And he's angling his words to basically he's looking to provoke a duel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he, uh, he gets up after Koji tells him to take a walk. And he inhales through his nose in that obnoxious way that people do. Uh, and just smiles right into your would mask. Be, would it be sincerity or courtier to provoke a provoke a a duel? He or, not, or he, he, case, he is uh, he does not count as a samurai, so he knows not to challenge a duel. Uh, monks don't technically count as samurais, so Ooh. A, duel, a duel would be just him signing over his own death penalty. Uh, but he does smile. I'll walk. And starts making his way out of the tea house. Apologies again. He's decided to drink some sake. And again, apologies, and, especially to you, Tamari-san. Uh, Tet Tetsuro sits down and realizes he's shaking. He is trying to hide it, mm -hmm. but an observer might notice his hand is actually trembling right now oh, because that could have gone very badly for him. And at the same time, he was ready to go for it. Yeah. The, the moment you sit down, the Bayushi comes over, puts down the tea that you asked for, and immediately puts his hand on top of yours and brings it up to the saucer, and he goes, please, please, remember where you are. Yes. I apologize. I cannot abide rudeness. A gift, he says very loudly, to the table. My best. No greater gift could be given in all of the Empire. And he that. kind of pulls his mask up a little bit and takes a sip. That is really kind of you, by you, see, son. What do you, what what do you want to do? Isn't... Right? I s if he didn't just like try to defend me, I would have rolled my eyes at that fucking comment. No, you're the <laughs> gift. You're <laughs> no you. Um, <laughs> the big fucking marshmallows. The um tea is kind of <laughs> So he's gonna be back next week and he's gonna be like, what happened between you two? Why hmm. do you suddenly like each other? <laughs> <laughs> Why are we friends all of a sudden? <laughs> um Tamori is not going to touch their tea whatsoever. They are... They're not shaking, but the anger is already so filled to the brim that it's almost creating them to be, like, completely nonverbal. So they're trying to just not have any any interactions whatsoever so that they can leave as soon as fucking possible. Koji, and I, I mean, Kitsune can probably tell. Yeah. <laughs> if I may, if I may ask, are you investigating us or is this, or are you being tasked with completing this investigation? I am tasked to investigating the three of you. Which I makes me wonder why I am investigating the three of you after you have given reports to the head of your clans and they could just easily go to your clans. That is my thinking as so, well. So there must be a reason either someone 
does not trust the three of you, or someone in your clans do not trust the three of you and the reports you have been given. Well, I for one can say that the idea of someone not trusting us is shocking and uh, frankly repugnant. I have I, we've done nothing hate, to warrant the distrust. I hate to be on this side of the of things too, because after the report that I was given on each of you, I was like, these are great companions. These are great people. Oh, what and... did the report say about us? Mm-hmm. Oh. Well, interesting things. Um, I did leave out about Doji and his, and his grooming techniques. That was not in the report. I did mention you, Tomori san, that you are very. Very oh, how you are now. How I am now. Yes. That I should be careful with you. You are capable of hurting people. I I don't agree with hurting people, but that's why I prefer song and dance and tea. And let me guess, there's a manipulative scorpion Shigenja traveling with them? Yes, but that's with every scorpion, pretty much, that they say. That's about what I think. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Any information of substance? Oh, here. And I give them the documents of each. There you go. I Like I said, I... <clears throat> yeah, there's bundles of scrolls I've been... Um written about each of you um and each paper style is different each writing style is different the the scorpion ones are very scientific almost sounding like it's just bullet points um the dragon one is uh much more like somebody is writing so that if this ever got read by tamori mori no one would get hurt there's a lot of dancing around the topics of that they're discussing about them. They are not not mean. They double are double negatives everywhere. Kind of big. I have never like not I, seen them yell. Um, like I said. You've made enemies along your adventures, I assume, and someone does not trust you, as it seems. Them to go to so much trouble to send me, of all people in Rokugan. And Kitsune, who sent you? Uh, an Emerald Magistrate. Unnamed. Would his name happen to be uh, Isawa Tensai? I think back. Mm, neg negative, no. Her name is Matsu Yutako. Have we met her before? No. She doesn't belong to a clan, does she? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Matsu oh, yeah, belongs. Yeah. You don't want to mess with the Matsu. Matsu, yeah. He has a pet line. <laughs> yeah, the Matsu is actually. Yeah, you don't want to know. I don't like the. Uh, just, just a lot of things I don't like about my. Yeah. It's okay. We're not looking to mess with anybody. I I would. That that is the goal here. I, like I said, I came here. No harm, nothing. And how long are you staying? I. That all depends on the three of you. Unfortunately. Like I said, I had my own personal stuff 
and matters I was looking into, and this was given to me. Well, Challenge me. At the same time, it's always great to meet <coughs> new people. Patricia's Unfortunately, both, this isn't the night to meet new people for myself. So, if you'll be staying for longer than one night, I'm going to excuse myself. And Tamori stands up to exit. Please, please, and I... So she... Uh... Tetsuro stands and offers a bow to Tamori Mori. Mm-hmm. I bow back. Mm. I Tomorrow bow morning? To... Tomorrow morning. I believe morning. the tournament starts tomorrow? Yep. Starts with an archery contest. Then I'll have well, to I won't there. be com- I won't be competing in the archery contest. Unfortunately, I... And you're also not a child. So. Terrible at it. Absolutely terrible at it. This is a kind of um, ceremony, sir. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't matter about the age. I play to win. I'm sorry. Please, again, apologies for my friend. I hope you do feel better. And I bow. And they immediately uh, head off out of the, the tea shop. That's, Tetsuro doesn't leave. Um, he oh my turns God. back. <sighs> Take out a fan. <clears throat> yeah. For a fanning. You. Oh. And it almost travel. feels like the entire the entire tea house has this weight lifted off of it. Like the second the storm that is Tomori Mori leaves, everyone just like. Ref- like very silently has this collective sigh of relief and then slowly the noise starts to come back up to where it was before tomorrow morning came in they're heading towards wherever aguro is going to be that's the first person that they thought of okay i am so my so my guess is that that is a past associate or family of Tamori Mori. Tamori Mori has evidently gone through changes since the last time the two of them saw each other, probably several years. Uh, Tamori might not have known who they were at that point in their life, but they most assuredly do now. And your friend... has behaved quite boorishly. Now, I'm glad it didn't come down to a duel between the two of us, but I would advise you to speak with him regarding his behavior. Oh, I will. Now, I will. <laughs> in regards to you, there is no way that you were sent purely to keep an eye on the three of us especially given the terms with which you spoke of this person they were not the most familial or glowing have you done something to aggravate someone uh, kitsune koji asking the real questions huh actually you're looking at why they would probably put me in this position You said it yourself earlier with how I wanted to conduct the investigation with singing and dancing and everything. I don't adhere to the traditions of my clan per se, so I might have upset them. My father could have upset them. There's lots of things with my family and myself. And how well do you know this? magistrate that sent you on this little endeavor how well do i know them matu but uh matu is unknown to you for the most part don't know just know the family name the matu they're ranked higher for obvious reasons obviously they're magistrate so an unknown magistrate sends you on an errand out to 
a part of the empire reasonably far from your familial estates, I assumed. In the company of that boorish individual, um, were they a friend of yours prior to this, or were they part of this mission? Oh, they were childhood friends. Oh. Ever, ever since our Jampuku. My condolences. The... No one has died. No, I mean... Not yet. Uh, oh, no, no, no. Everybody deaths. does we eventually. Uh, Sadly, yes. No. So you've been sent on a potential errand to get you out of the way. You also mentioned you were looking into things and then this fell into your lap. What were you looking into prior to being sent on this mission? <sighs> the death of my father. So your father has died under mysterious circumstances? No, not so mysterious. He was assassinated, but... He was not the intended target. And who was? My mother. And is it a joyous celebration that your mother has survived? She, <laughs> she is not happy. She's actually the reason why I'm investigating this. This is between her and I. I give you this information or disclosure like i said i have nothing to hide i appreciate your candor it's what is keeping us at this table together the fact of the matter is you were investigating something that someone doesn't want you investigating further and you were sent on a mission by someone you don't know that is a glorified snipe hunt. The interesting correlation is that the your father was assassinated and we are investigating a series of murders. Did they catch the assassin in your case? No. That's why I am investigating. So we have a unknown murderer that murdered your father. And now you are here where a series of other murders have taken place. To investigate the three of you regarding shapeshifters. And the shapeshifters were doing a bunch of murder. There was murder happening. Much murder. Murdering <sighs> murderers who murder. I, I don't know why they sent me here. The sight of blood just doesn't, doesn't do so well with me. That is adorable. Uh, you're going to no doubt probably see more if you're investigating uh, a, an assassin. Typically, they, there's a wake of bodies in there uh, as they go, unless you're very good at it. Uh, why, so, why, why bodies? Why death everywhere around us? Why? Explain to me that. Some because some people are less useful than others, and some people are more useful when they're less. I believe everybody's useful. Everybody is. I believe that a way. use. I believe a use can be found for everyone. I agree. Everybody has a unique talent. Everybody's very unique and extraordinary. Can we just become best friends. <laughs> so. Here's my proposal, um, Kitsune Koji. You are going to want to talk to Doji, and you two are going to get along famously, I can already tell. You are going to have a discussion regarding the murders. I would advise you, however, to flavor your report however it is being delivered uh with a certain air uh certain aura of vagueness i i, I think the best thing for you would be to leave this open-ended because while we have certainly 
dealt with things on our end, the matter is a larger one, I feel, and we may see more murders happening. Karma and fate weave a very interesting web. And I do not feel that it is coincidence that you were investigating a strange murder and now are suddenly here to get in the way of us investigating ours. You think every you think it's all connected? Believing in a in a healthy dose of conspiracy is somewhat of an occupational habit of my clan. And paranoia is a breakfast that I eat every day. Besides, I fail to see how the great creator could put you in our path without a, a good reason. I'm here to just lighten up the day for anybody. Unfortunately, I was unable to do that for your friend. I beg to differ. You've certainly made quite the social impression here. Uh, people will be talking about it for quite some time. Mm. I dare say, if your goal is to create a social atmosphere, you've done quite well. People will be speaking of this engagement for quite some time. It'll be the gossip of the the gossip of the fair. Yeah, but not in a good way either. Ah, uh, Togashi, Togashi. The... Talk He's with your friend. friend. I'm sure... I'm sure he is. The test of it will be when you tell him how things have changed. If he is truly a good person then he will accept and he will understand. If he is not a good person, he and I may have to finish that discussion regarding a duel. I do not have far. very... I don't have very many friends, Kitsune Koji. I have mm, three. And Tomori Mori is one of them. Doji is half of one. The other one and a half will remain nameless for purposes of this conversation. It's okay. I understand. But I do not doubt we will be seeing more of you, and next time it will be in a better atmosphere. I, I like so. you. Oh, I, I like you. I love your this, this great tea house that Comes that comes from your clan. The Bayushi certainly know how to set a tone. <clears throat> I must say, I do enjoy your mask. Thank you. It's so minimalist, but it says so much. I keep it polished so people can see their face in the reflection. I've noticed. I've noticed that you are top notch. Why, thank you. And well kept. As, uh, as you two start uh, Dutch rotating each other, um, we shift over to Tamori Mori. Where are they? When they get to the crab encampment, um, do they? I mean, they must know where a guru is. Yeah, they yeah. Well, they Dutch they know you already, so they don't. Nobody like stops you. Oh, nobody's like get out of here. No. Yeah, no, they immediately go up to, um, up to his tent yeah. and call out his name. Um, there's a moment where you hear something drop inside the tent. And as he comes out, you can see that uh, he's been packing. You're leaving? I, I didn't want it to 
come out like this, but I think it's I think it's better that I'm not around. And they let out like a deep sigh because of me? No. No. Um, and you see his hand come comes up for like a like a millisecond and he catches himself and he and instead of shooting out towards you he kind of like tussles his hair uh, and just starts to fall like a little cascade of black tendrils um he goes no no i i think i'm i'm too much of a detriment to have around well i wanted to tell you something cuz I haven't been able to let go of the anger. I Me? do not want to marry you. Let's okay. make that perfectly clear. Okay. I don't want to be married whatsoever. I understand. Good. And they immediately like go right up to him and kiss him. Right in the... Like, just aggressive. And... If it's received on mm -hmm. his end, they start undressing. They're okay. they're taking um, Tetsuro's advice. They gonna fuck. Okay. Like and... aggressive sex. Let's go. Okay. I think uh, there's no better button to end an episode on than that. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> so uh, is it received or not? Yeah. 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 Oh. Hundred percent. Nice. Um, no, we're gonna leave that on a cliffhanger till yeah. next episode. Yeah, you wait. You wait. <laughs> we cut, cut, cut to the pillow talk. Yeah, you wait. You find. <laughs> you're gonna have to wait and see. Yeah. Uh, but if it was received or not. Yeah, no, that is a that is a gray button. Uh, thank you guys for a fantastic episode. Even even if we did Yay. miss out on uh, some doji shenanigans. I, uh, I, I I think that went very well. I love yeah. that. Uh, I also want to uh, thank uh, you, Ben and Ike, for uh, rolling with Togashi um, as a sexist, misogynist piece of shit that he is uh, around Tomori Mori. Because um, mm. he is still Kitsune Koji's friend. Uh, and, I, and when you two are together, he is going to be a fantastic ally for you. Uh, but I did text Ray and I was like, hey, do we want to play with some of the themes surrounding Tomori Mori, given oh. their background? It's a dragon's like, coming in. That's going to be a prolific character. I uh, was like, oh, man, my ca this character, my best friend is such a pig. <laughs> like, oh. Such an the, ass hat. And like, yeah. I, don't even... I feel I just challenged the dude to a fight. Like, mm -hmm. I, oh, yeah. I, I'm, I was yeah. like. I, I wasn't seeing my I, I did not see myself doing that. It yeah. just came up. Yeah. I, so, I had I had warned Ray. Yeah, I had warned Ray. I didn't warned Ray. I didn't, I didn't warn either of you because I wanted genuine reactions. Um, and I got them. I'm very I'm very happy with the reactions that I got. Um, <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys. Uh, thank you the audience uh, for being a part of this. You know we couldn't do this without you guys. Uh, as always, I want to give you guys a chance to plug whatever you're up to. So we'll start with you, Ray. What are you up to and where can people find you on the internet if you want to be found? Uh, at Ray of Moonlight on Instagram. I'm here every Tuesday, either playing as Tamori, which is a delight, and then Artist, which is such a nightmare. Um, and <laughs> yeah, and then my personal life is on at Ray of Moonlight. And if you're in the fucking Tampa area, I have lots of stuff going on. But if you're not, then it's irrelevant. Don't, and if you're not in Florida, don't come to Florida. Yeah, don't, yeah we're fine. Don't worry shit's, about it. Shit's bad here. Yeah, it's all right. Uh, Don't worry about it. <laughs> ben, what are you up to and where can people find you on the internet if you want to be found? Uh, so I was going to post a link to my Twitch, but it told me I can't post links. Oh. Um, Who are you? I, I know. It says my message was deleted by the moderator and I've been timed out for one second. Ooh. So I'm going to... What is your Twitch not... channel? I'll, I'll put it up. Uh, I we'll we'll do it later we'll do it next time i'm i'm now emotionally stunted um uh, so yes i i have a twitch and it's more or uh, less than when vasily died it, it the reverend benjamin powers is my twitch um okay. i'm going to be doing uh i might be doing some diablo this week just because my friends are playing it everybody's playing that fucking it, game it's it's fun 
Uh, also, I'm definitely doing Fight Forever, AEW, end of the month. I'm going to be streaming the hell out of that. Um, that's pretty much it. I, I, I exist. I mean, if you guys are in New England and you want to catch some notes about some uh, some golf nights coming up, I can give you some rundowns. But other than that, that's pretty much my uh, my thing. Um, also, I want to take a second and apologize if I kind of white knighted that that whole scenario there. Uh, I, I didn't. Uh, I don't know. It's, it says a lot like, more about I feel weird about how I handled. I, I feel weird about how I handled that. Now, whether you know, because now Ben's in, you know, Ben's now out of character space, and it's like, wow, did I just, you know, was it my place to speak up and say something? Should I not have, you know, done that? And you know, I will, I will ease some of your worry because if it, if it wouldn't, if it wasn't you, it was definitely going to be Peter. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. So <clears throat> anyway, uh, you know, yeah. I, I, I'm a firm believer in people being able to stand up, you know themselves and i i also believe that you know someone's messing with your friends so you step up and anyway anyway i'm going to stop yeah. morally analyzing my decisions now yeah, yeah, yeah. it's okay yeah. you guys continue uh, uh yes. ike uh ike. <laughs> what are you up to and where can people find you on the internet if you want to be found i don't want to be found that's why i don't have social <laughs> media <laughs> but but i am but i have his you, social security so if anyone wants his full name social security just send me a you, dm even his you even his middle name me, yeah you could find me on tuesdays here every tuesday playing now l5r thank you the group for having me i hope uh for many more sessions and journeys with uh Kitsune Koji with the group. And the Tuesdays, I'm playing Pepe on Werewolf of the Wild West with good old artists. Completely different character, completely oh. different. Oh, I'm saying all. Say that. <laughs> Pepe and artists are completely different from Tamari and Kitsune. Oh, that's correct. 100%. Yeah. <clears throat> different, uh, completely different characters. Yeah. But uh, thank you guys for being a part of this. Uh, as always, uh, be please be aware that it is okay to not be okay we take mental health on the channel very seriously uh, if you need help and you're watching live there's phone numbers going up in our twitch chat they'll be in the description box if you're watching on youtube later um, also if you're not in the united states there is a link to help you get uh, the resources you need and to help you uh, you you're looking for uh, as close to you as possible uh, they'll have a database of phone numbers and locations for you um, you know, uh, because everybody's going through different things in their own way. And sometimes some of us need a little bit of help. So it's, there's no shame in it. Uh, you know, mental health shouldn't be stuck behind a taboo subject matter uh, or like a stigmatized uh, subject matter. Uh, and if you're a friend or family member or somebody that has a strong personality, you know, check in on them. It doesn't hurt to, to send them a little text to, hey, how you doing? Uh, because you never know how much it'll change the trajectory of somebody's life. Um, so... If you get a chance to be kind, please be kind. Uh, being nice is performative. Being kind is genuine. So, you know, uh, but with that, as always, uh, thank you for being a part of this. Thank you guys for letting me run this for you. And we will see you when we see you. Have a good night, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye.